reviewing Whiteford's Giant Burger in Lawrence, South Carolina. What's up, guys? Your boy Rockabelly864 back in the building. Once again, today we are doing Whiteford's Giant Burger. This has been an icon in Lawrence, South Carolina since 1957. This place has been serving food up. They also have a restaurant about 10 miles down the road in Clinton, South Carolina. I've passed by this a million times, never ate here, never really talked to anybody who ate here before. So we're going to check it out and see what they got going on today. We got the giant burger with cheese plate, fries and slaw included. And there is, of course, a hot dog all the way. We're going to see what this is hitting on today and see why they've been around for 65 years, maybe. Maybe it's just dumb luck. Maybe the food's really that good. Off subject, but I'm doing this review in the parking lot of Family Dollar right down the road and across the street. Man, that is the saddest little store you ever did see. It's actually open. One car, two cars in the parking lot. And I don't think that one's at Family Dollar. Gee man how you be paying the light bill there's the presentation on this plate what do you think what do you guys think i don't know looks kind of mid to me french fry time <laughs> maybe this does something That's a disappointment. I mean, this is a decent looking burger, but that's that's the giant burger. <laughs> giant. I don't have big hands for a guy that are actually rather medium small. And that, look, that ain't no giant burger. This patty looks like it's char grilled. So that might be all right. I didn't modify it from the way it comes. It's got lettuce, tomato, onions. Uh-huh. We got a lot of juices dripping here. I'm interested to find out if the juices is from that tomato or the juices is actually from this beef patty. Possibly could be from the beef patty, but more likely it's from the tomato. Slaw is creamy, looks really good, but guess what? They didn't give me anything to eat it with. No fork, no sport, no spoon, nothing wrapped up in plastic, nada. Maybe they knew who I was and thought, hey, he carries a fork around in his car. I've seen him with it before. Not today. I don't have a fork. I guess I'm going to have to be an innovator. This, this really pisses me off. Coleslaw, to me, is supposed to be a slightly sweet blend of finely chopped cabbage, finely cut relish. No, the relish is what makes it sweet, but it should be finely cut. And finely chopped up carrots. That's really it. That's all you need. This is nothing but mayonnaise and cabbage. It has the consistency of oatmeal. Man, this is not good. There is, it has zero kick has zero sweetness it has zero flavor it's basically a filler food it's it's basically lost one hot dog all the way this better be good because you i mean you, you you really need to salvage yourself This, this is nothing to rave about. This is nothing to really get Storm and Mad pissed off about. This, this dog is just there. It's just there. It's just mid. This chili has very, very little flavoring. It's just, it's just not, 
was not hitting the pallet today. Overall, I'm going to give this place a 5 out of 10. Uh, would have given it a 6 out of 10 because the little girl at the window was friendly, but that point was lost when she didn't give me anything to eat the slaw with. When she expected me to eat it with my fingers, that took a whole point away from you. I'm going to put the address down here in the description box below. Maybe you'll like enjoy it better than I did if you decide to come through here, but um, yeah, I one-time trip and it'll be one time only. Very, very disappointed. I'll see you guys later on though. Peace, and I'm out of here.